just the overall, I guess, frustration of the team, you know, the, the little things that went wrong, how close you were so many times on Saturday? Uh, it was a lot of frustration, but it really can't get mad at nobody for our sins. The stuff that we have to work on in practice, like Coach Dewey said, if we do it in practice, watch how to change it. Agree with the statement that he said that you guys uh, didn't do things in practice, or that you didn't play the way that you practiced? Uh, yes, I would agree on that. It's something once we get into the game, we just definitely need to change. Just to I guess we thought what we thinking in the head around the field would change the outcome. Definitely want to do it on practice. Do you see the passing game making strides? Have you seen that along the way? Uh, I think we're making better strides, but we also have our ups and downs. It's something that we got to come to work with. Talk about the, your touchdown catch, what the route was, and how you you got toward a, out, of, out of sync on defense. Uh, the route that I had ran was it's called the real route, where I, I felt like I'm feeling run out, and then just turned the field all of a sudden. And then I also had Zach Rogers on the outside of me, where he just ran the post route to take the safety away. And then my was on the floor the outside. Is there extra responsibility on the receivers knowing that you have a young offensive line and you may not have a lot of time for Matt to look around behind you? Uh, yes, yeah, that's something we have to take upon ourselves, knowing that we have, have to make our routes quicker, knowing the time on the routes, and also knowing the coach to run that route. Darius, after putting a lot of points on the board in the first game, is it easy to second guess yourself after the last two weeks? Are we doing this right? Are we doing this? Or is that something you try to guard against? It depends on how some players take and how some players take it. The points went up, the offense is there, and you got to constantly work harder. We have the ability to make the right play, and you've got to constantly work at it. You talk about Justin Hunter, obviously. He was a big story in preseason. He had a couple of big catches on Saturday. How much has he grown since preseason camp? And, and where do you see him you know, progressing as year goes on? Uh, he's constantly learning the offense. He has to be doing more of his stuff now to where folks don't have to say him tell me about it. Uh, there's no doubt that he was right behind me. It's just something like normally I have to correct him on something, but no matter how to do it no matter. Who you guys miss Gerald the most? Again, it was for feeling that the defense is worried about one player or worried about play on this player on the big down. It's just the ability to just open up the uh, defense and our offense. What do you think y'all got to do to get some more kickoff return yardage? Uh, constantly wrecking more on practice with the norm, which is always close to you. Coach said that you need to uh, you struggled with your consistency. Do you, do you see that? What do you need to do to, to be more consistent? Uh, guess not enough fast to get ready to match by the end because it's really fast. It has to be a young guy to come in. You feel like you've turned into a big play for him this time? Mm -hmm. I kind of don't know. It's just a big one. Getting the ball is having a good need to make a play, so I guess I can't say it's kind of a big play for him. Is it more difficult to focus? You had the two top ten teams coming in, especially a big rival last week. Is it harder to focus on a team like UAB now coming in here? You know, it's not hard to focus. You never mind that same to opponent. They're coming in, we're going to beat us. We've got to look at them like we do in Florida, Alabama, and any other top ten teams. Coach said you were banked up a little bit. How are you feeling? So I really can't tell and do something like that for that whole week or it be up Saturday. What signs of progress do you see in Matt and the passing game? Uh, I see a major progress in when he first got here. He's doing the offense, he's knowing who he's supposed to look at, doing the next coverage, he's always back side, so he's doing a long way. Uh, is it one of the situations where you're pretty close, you feel like in the passing game, the thing where you need to be? This one is like we're pretty close where we need to be. And playing with the other, the whole offense also. Practicing well through the week and doing things like you're supposed to do all the practice. 
building and getting into games and improvising them? How do you carry practice over to the game on Saturday? Um, getting kids into the loop that you get drunk crazy. Reckoning over and over. Make sure you time it down. You can try to get off the game. But it's also during the game, some things in the world you're playing, so you got to just as a player. Sometimes it's going to be how to do that. Things go wrong. 